Hi, Brockton residents. It's Mayor Robert Sullivan, and this is the 37th, believe it or not, 37th episode of Our Brockton, and the title speaks for itself. It's Our Brockton. It's our community. It's our home. We are so much better together. It's really my honor and privilege to actually be outside of City Hall today, outside of uh, the BCA studio. We are at 1250 West Chestnut Street on the corner of Pearl West Chestnut at the Arc of Greater Brockton. Uh, it is Autism Awareness Month. I am just so excited to be here, not as a mayor, but as a Brocktonian, to talk about the wonderful things that are done each and every day in this building and beyond. So, how are you today, my friend? <laughs> I'm very good, man. Thank you so much for coming here. Good to see you. And yes. uh, for those that don't know you, please tell everybody your name and your background. And Sure, Dean Rizzo, uh, I'm Executive Director of the Arc of Greater Brockton. I've uh, been here for about a year and a half. Come from the City of Presidents. All right. Uh, we won't hold that against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We always admire the... Mayor yeah. Coke is doing a wonderful job yeah. over in the City of yeah. Presidents. And, uh, City of Champions, you know, this is a champion effort that you do each and every day here. And, um, you don't just serve Brockton, it's Greater Brockton. So how many communities do you serve and then about how many families or, or clients do you serve? Sure. Yeah, we serve 11 communities in our region. Brockton is our home base. You know, probably about 60% or so of the folks that we serve are from the City of Brockton. Uh, but we serve 10 other surrounding communities, the Bridgewaters, Easton, Whitman, Avon. You know, those areas still in, in Randolph and et cetera. And we serve within that in our facility every week. We have anywhere from 100 to 125 participants that are here between our employment services, our redemption center, our community based day supports, and our day rehabilitation center. And in addition to that, we have several staff that are working out throughout our region. We serve about three to 400 families in all those communities for folks that don't come into our facility every day, we send staff out there to uh, provide all kinds of services and resources for them. So very active, we're open from eight in the morning until usually eight at night throughout the week. We're open on weekends, we have activities for all different ages and all different capabilities, you know, throughout the uh, seven day week. And Dean, you just gave me a, a wonderful tour. I mean, it runs the gamut from a small food pantry. We provide necessary food, yeah. especially during COVID. I mean, that sure. was vital, but Absolutely. also, you know, a little gym area as well. Um, so can you just tell the viewers, really what are the services in terms of like, who is the recipients of the food pantry? And then what do you do in the gym? Because yeah. <laughs> I saw boxing gloves <laughs> in the City of Champions. It really piqued my interest. <laughs> That's a good point. Um, you know, it's a tremendous array of services that we provide um, for our participants here. You know, the food services we, we provide, there's probably about 10, 15 families that come in throughout the week and pick up different parish items, you know, and essential items for their home. The uh, the exercise program, we have a, a little gym here in CBDS. We have another one in Dayhab. And it's designed, uh, our focus now is, uh, is helping the participants become better individuals in, in the community and being more healthy. Eat nutritional food. A lot of our food we're trying to get is organic food now for our food pantry. And then exercise every day. So throughout the day, participants come into the exercise room with, tra with skilled trainers and do different um, types of exercise activities, you know, depending on their capabilities. We do a log. And it's great. I mean, they feel great afterward. We do it here. We take them to other facilities within, within the city of Brockton, and it's a great way to keep movement going. And another component of that, exercise, health and wellness, food, and music. We're sitting here on yeah, our stage right of our is. music program. Uh, it's our new program we established to bring uh, more music. So we have a lot of participants that get together. They'll play in the band. They'll create songs. And uh, it's great camaraderie and a great skill building and learning opportunity for participants so those fun things as well as throughout the day we have all kinds of arts and crafts i think i showed you our you art gallery yeah, space uh, where we have a collaboration with brockton arts where some of their um, artists come in and do artist training throughout the week um, so art um and skill development. A lot of skill development programs happen throughout the yeah, week. Yeah, I mean, I think what was clear is, is, and you used the word collaboration, it's all about collaboration, it right? Is. And working together and for shared vision, you know, uh, a healthy, safe community to provide services for those that need services, Absolutely. number one. And, uh, you know, I come up here and I do my can redemption up here all the time. That's great. Um, but I also, I also know that you recently uh, were awarded a recipient, and I was proud to do it as mayor, ARPA money, American Rescue Plan money. Um, we put it out there. I committed $2 million, yeah. um, and I awarded $50,000. Um, we'll be doing a celebration at City Hall right. in the near future. What, what does that mean, and how you utilize $50,000? Oh, it's a tremendous boost. Uh, what we experienced through COVID, though we have a large facility, it's a 10,000-square-foot facility, we have a small nurse's office that's uh, based out of Dayhab. And what we realized during COVID, we did not have adequate facilities 
to deal with an illness like that, uh, both for quarantine folks when need to, giving vaccines out, doing testing, um, and we expanded our nursing because of that. We, now we have two nurses. So what this money will do will help us expand our nursing right. opportunities there and our health resources there. We're going to do a dedicated uh, isolation room. We're going to do dedicated bathroom space for those that are ill. So, you know, we have common bathrooms. So if someone's sick, there's really no privacy. You can't isolate. And, right. you know, we realize that through COVID how essential that is. So the, the resources are tremendous. The 50000 is really going to go a long way to make that happen. The BRA, the Rock and Redevelopment Authority, led by Mr. Robin Jenkins, the Executive Director, there in essence is the agent for the city to disperse the funds. And Arc of Greater Brockton has been a, a, a truly worthwhile recipient of those funds. And, you know, the partnership is real, and I, I want to thank you. I know um, we're going to be uh, cutting to a break right now, and we're actually going to have two other uh, individuals join yes. us. I'm so excited. So, Dean, thank, thank you for what you're doing each and every day. Thank you. Thank you. This is Mayor Sullivan, and we're back here at the Arc of Greater Brockton, West Chestnut, uh, and Pearl on the corner of 1250 West Chestnut. And I'm just so honored to uh, be joined. Uh, our second guest today is James. James, thank you so much for being on the show today. You're welcome. James, where do, where do you live? Whitman. You live in Whitman. Yeah. And you come to the Arc here every single day? Uh, four days. Four days. And when you come here, you see a lot of friends. A lot of people that come here are your friends, and people that work here are your friends. What are some of the things, James, when you come to this building that you like to do? Uh, field trips, uh, redemption. Oh, good. Uh, yard work. Oh, good. Um, I do some cleaning around here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you're in the redemption, because I've been there before, the can redemption, yeah. what are some of the things you did? Do you have to count the cans, or what do you have to do? Uh, counting cans, sorting. Okay. Yeah. And they they split the cans from the glass bottles, right? Yes. They're separated. And when you said field trips, what are some of the places? Where are some places you've gone? Uh, swimming at the Y, exercising at the Y. Oh, good. Um, hiking, at, hiking at different parks. Okay. Um... I've gone to mall walking. Really? Yeah. Oh, you've done a lot of activities. Yeah. You like to swim? Yes. Good, good. What is your favorite activity that you like to do? Um, being outside. Being outside. Mm -hmm. Well, when I came here today and parked, the yard looks beautiful. So you and your, your, your friends have been doing a great job outside there, definitely. If, if people are watching this right now and they know this building, but they've never been in this building, okay, they've never yeah. visited, what is something special that you like about coming in here every day? You come here the four days. Um, I like being in here with my friends mm. and um, using the exercise room, of course. Oh, good. Yeah. Do you ever use the punching bag that they have in there? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I want to thank you, James. Do you have any questions for me as the mayor? Um, I was wondering how long you've been mayor. Oh, good question. Good question. Yeah. So I was born and raised in Brockton. I'm from yeah. Brockton. And I um, served, it's called city council. So I was on the city council for 14 years. And then I ran for mayor and I was um, elected and sworn in on January 6th of 2020. So I've mm -hmm. been the mayor since January of 2020. Mm -hmm. And then in Brockton, the mayor's a two-year terms. Yeah. Um, and I was just reelected again. Oh, congratulations. So thank you. Thank you. So I'll mm -hmm. be the mayor again for another two years at least. Okay. Great question. Yeah. Are you interested in politics and government? Mm, no. no. <laughs> You're like my kids. <laughs> well, listen, I want to thank you, James, for taking the time. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you for uh, being really a, a great guest on the show today. And I hope you and your family have a, a great spring and wonderful summer. You too. Thank you, James. Yeah. We'll be back with our final guest in just a short second. Thank you. And we're back here uh, in a wonderful, wonderful building. And I know most of you have driven by it. Some of you have been in here. It's the Arc of, Arc of Greater Brockton. And, and my second and final um, guest, uh, well, we could call Mr. Rizzo the first guest. So my third and final guest would be Nicholas. Nicholas, thank you so much for being on You're today. You're welcome, Mr. Mayor. I am so excited. First of all, I want to say how, how you dress so awesome. It's really, uh, you put me to shame. I love the bow tie and the whole outfit. And you can't see the shiny shoes and the red socks, but phenomenal. So congratulations. Thank you. There's an old saying, dress for success. Yeah. You're very successful. So you live, first of all, where did you grow up? I grew up in Brockton, Mass. I graduated June 4th at the Brockton. In high school, I lived in I lived at Grafton Street, oh. 
near the high school and the fairgrounds. Yes. And then I moved to West Bridgewater out of BMZ Group Home in West Bridgewater, okay. Mass. Okay. Guess what? I grew up right near Grafton Street wow. on Wellington Street where Manamit Street is. So right near Grafton Street. I know exactly where the street you're talking yeah. about. And I went to Brockton High School, so I'm very proud to meet you. And so do you? how many days a week do you come to the ARC? I come to the ARC five days a week, Mr. Mayor. Okay, great. And then there's so many different activities here at the ARC. What are some of your favorite things? Field trips, working in redemption, doing the yard work. Um, in Redemption, I like to do the cans and the bottles, sorting, donations, customer service, and also doing the USESI off-campus job at the warehouse in Stoughton, wow. where I also work doing trash, cardboard cleanup around the warehouse. Wow, you stay busy, don't you? Yeah. And on the field trips, Nicholas, what are some of your field trips you've done and your favorite ones? Some of the field trips I've been on is like the Art Museum mm -hmm. here in Brockton. We go other places too, but I don't remember them all. That's okay. That's okay. But you have fun every time yeah. you go. Yeah. And you have really good friends that are here. Yes, I have a lot of friends. Shout out to my friend Natasha from Brockton. All right, that's a shout out. One I like of my that. Shout hey, Natasha. Out. <laughs> and then my you have other any shout outs. Yeah, to Alina, my other friend from Brockton, Alina. Brockton's in the house, huh? Yeah, uh, I like and that. And my other friend Joanny from Brockton. Got a lot of Brockton folks here. Yeah. Seems like you're a really, really good friend, Nicholas. Yeah. And, um, is there any question? I know you and I talked before we went on camera that you have a diploma for Brockton High yes. School that was damaged. Yeah. And so what was the question you asked me? I was wondering if I could get a new graduation diploma from the Brockton High School, which would be laminated so it won't be ripped up easily by accident yes, anymore. Yes, And my answer to you was what? That you would talk to the school committee and uh, yep. get me a new diploma yep. with the date and the year that I graduated yes. from the Broughton High School. Yes, and first of all, congratulations for your graduation. Thank That's you. That's a huge achievement. You worked really hard for that, and um, your diploma was damaged, so we will replace your mm. diploma. It will be the exact same diploma with the same yeah. correct date that you graduated. Yeah, those four people that signed it, including you. Yes, I did sign it. I did. Yes, great. <laughs> My signature was a little messier, yeah. probably. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, um, again, I want to just say thank you for what you do. Um, every day coming here, making good friends, being a productive member of the ARC of Greater Brockton. And again, um, I hope you and your family have a wonderful spring and a really nice summer and happy holidays for this weekend as well. Thank you too, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Nicholas. You're thank welcome. you very much. And again, I just want to thank the ARC of Greater, Greater Brockton for opening up their doors and welcoming me and the man behind the camera uh, in my office again, Jensen Denoy. So again, be well. Uh, I will be back for the 38th episode of our Brockton. And Again, if you don't know about the Ark of Greater Brockton, please go on their website, look it up, or pay a visit. And if you're ever looking to um, redeem your cans or bottles, it's a very, very easy professional drive up. So be well, stay safe. It is an honor and privilege to be the mayor of the city of Champions. Thank you.